foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. And this is an article from thesun.com. It's posted in our group chat. Um, and uh, started taking a look at it, and the spirit hit me to go into this lesson. Um, and basically, as you can see before you, you can see the uh, <clears throat> the different uh, aspects, all right, of of what Esau, uh, you know, pictures to be the the you know basically his creation, all right, the creation of E. <laughs> okay, that's pretty much uh, what this is, all right, and uh, because of you know the 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 YT al algos, all right, I have to. Uh, <clears throat> be careful with reading these, but as you can see, all right, you have the the C hip and, and brain connected to internet and AI, right? So, and and this the headline as it says is future perfect humans in two in twenty one hundred, okay, or two one hundred or whatever. Um, it says could be ageless bionic hybrids with downloadable brains. As they transform into Elon Musk style cyborgs, which um, a good TV show to watch is called, I think it's called Uplink, Upload. Sorry, Upload TV show. Yep, Upload. All right. You check out Upload, you know, and it's pretty much very similar to uh, this concept here of, um, you know, being able, in, 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 the, in the actual TV show, when you quote unquote die, you can choose to have a natural death or the new kind of death where they actually download your, if I remember correctly, your consciousness or something like that. And then they actually like upload you to a cloud or to a server, you know, so you're in this digital world and that's heaven. So you're, you never really die, you know, or you know, pretty much that's how they put it. And they can, they have customer service agents that they call angels, which will basically, whatever you need, they'll be there and they can program it into, you know, this digital world that you're in or your consciousness is living in, right? And that's that artificial immortality. That's the immortality through technology, okay? Now, now, now these devils are basically trying to uh, recreate Genesis, you know, the, the, first, the first chapter and so on. All right, and now they're saying, let us make man in our image, which in their image is through Satanism and technology, okay? As you can see, it says, ageless face, thanks to treatments, uh, mind-controlled drones, bionic plants for perfect vision, right? Bionic enhanced organs, strength-boosting prosthetics. So this this is pretty much the future they want to head in. Now, forget what trailer it was. I think it might have been a World Economic Forum trailer or an, an Agenda 2030 trailer, something like that. But I remember explicitly they mentioned there will be no such things as humans or humanity in the sense that some you're going to have some level of augmentation at, you know, at some point. There's going to be nobody that's just going to be completely normal, like non-touched, non-altered. No, 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 no. None of that. They're going to phase that out. Okay? And that's what that's pretty much what they're trying to, you know, head towards. That's their, uh, I guess, form of a utopia. All right? But if you are, if you are in a state like this, then you're def you're basically a robot. And, and, and you're basically under mind control or control of them. Right? And this is why ultimately the Most High is going to stop them. All right. Oh, look at this. There's some more. It says, um, no need for smartphones thanks to BC. Right? Natural aging, 90% eliminated. <laughs> and this is where they're going. And people think this is cool. Look at that. Experts believe humans will become, you know, T humans. Okay. Um, meshed with tech. You gotta be careful with that word as well. This is this is where they're trying to go with it. They're trying to take the most high's creation and they're trying to alter it and turn it into theirs. Now it says, um, 
humans in the next hundred years could be part machine, part flesh, creatures with b hip, uh, brain c hips, uh, and bionic limbs and organs in a vision of cyborgs once described by Elon Musk. Men and women born around 2100 uh, could live in a world very different to ours as humans, uh, may be totally connected to the internet and meshed together with AI. What kind of madness is wrong? Dude? Yeah, but this is where they're trying to go with it, right? It says uh, mobile phones would no longer be needed as everything you do, uh, you now do with your smartphone will now be connected uh, will now be done with a C hip in your brain. Now, was it the Nokia CEO that mentioned this? I believe that I think they said by 2030 they're trying to do away with cell phones. They they're trying to do away with uh, external technology and they're trying to have everything more internal. Well, this is a perfect diagram that you can see everything is within. And what they're doing is they're trying to play the role of God. It says, with just a thought, you could bring up an answer on Google, send a message via WhatsApp, or even control your personal drone to do errands for you. And they try to make it sound all nice and, and enticing, and that's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not, all right? You are not above the most high. Scientists and futurists have predicted that aging could be nearly totally eliminated through a mixture of treatments and bionics. And once again, they're trying to fight because the Lord set that age cap, all right? In the, in the ancient world, in the past, in the old world, pre-flood, we used to live very long ages, okay? But the Most High put a cap on the age of man. What was that? Uh, 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 the days of man shall be, uh, I think, was it three score? Um, yeah, I think it was like three score and ten, and 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 uh, with strength, with strength four score. Roughly paraphrasing, so that's 70 years with strength about 80, right? But give or take right around there is where the average individual, you know, dies. But they're trying to basically fight that and say, no, nah, that ain't going to be a problem for us. But you, you cannot fight your maker, <laughs> okay? As a matter of fact, this is how far lost you are is that the fact that you're even trying to do this is you this, the idea that has been put into your head to do this came from the most high, the same one you're trying to challenge. How do you how do you even defeat a power like that? You're trying to fight somebody who put the thought into your mind to try and fight them. <laughs> what? It says, and some humans may choose to have their limbs amputated and replaced with more powerful robotic prosthetics. See, so do away with the natural, do away with how the Most High designed things, and and come partake in our new world. Okay. The old one is weak, it's fragile, it's 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 archaic. You need to jump onto the new wave. All right, and and and, and it's going to see that's why in the book of Revelation the 13th chapter it talks about not just the MOTB but also the IOTB, the image of the, you know, because that's going to involve a whole lot as they drive forward with it. All right, the, the MOTB is going to play a a, a, key, a role. All right? But overall, they have an uh, infrastructure in which this this key or this MOTB is going to allow you to function within or to be a part of. It says, futurist and trend and, uh, man, I need to think of a name for this. Um, T-humanist uh, Zoltan uh, Istvan, who has twice run to be U.S. president, <laughs> described his vision of the future to the Sun Online saying it's imperative humans must merge with AI. You hear that? So AI is basically like the uh the artificial spirit, you know? And they're trying to they're trying to use that to form their own creation. It says and he said that humans are already on the way to soon heading down to body shops or supermarkets to upgrade themselves. You hear this? And this isn't conspiracy theorists coming out to tell you this. These are people that are politicians are in here. People that are known that 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 are that are you know a part of this these these CEOs these uh, people in so called high positions within certain companies and all that. They're all they're all in here. It says Twitter boss 
uh, Musk has previously described a world where humanist, uh, humanity must become more integrated with technology to compete with AI. Big tech companies are already working on trend. Uh, T-human um, technology, including Musk's new brain C-hip Neuralink, and it's becoming more and more common. It, it, it's literally becoming more and more commonplace, man. If you can't see this, I don't know what to tell you, honestly. <laughs> All right, I just don't. But we're there, okay? We're there, and this is what this is going to be the straw that broke the camel's back. This is where. Just as they're trying to cross this threshold, the Most High is going to intervene and tell them, look, my man, you need to take all the steps back because you're tripping. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, verse 9. It says, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Now, Esau, we know, is, is all right, the Edomites today. And when you look at the head of all of these things, guess what? I'm, I'm pretty sure, or well, obviously you have Elon Musk, but I'm pretty sure this individual... Uh, Zoltan uh, Istvan is not an Israelite, <laughs> okay? It definitely is not us. We're not the ones doing this. Look at him, okay? So going back, right? So Esau is the end of the world, which is the end of this age, this rulership, this time period. So they're going to be the the at the, the very end. They're going to be the ones ruling that are going to usher in this end, right? It says, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed it. So at the end of this, or at the end of this rulership and all of that, that's when uh, 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 the Most High is going to flip things over. All right, we're going to come and, 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 and be in authority and, you know, set everything back in his righteous course. Okay, because if not, this this <laughs> this world is doomed. Because this is the, this is the direction they want to take you in. This is eventually where they want to take you. So it, 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 to them, it's not going to stop at just having a, uh, uh, you know, a C hip. You can you can have multiple C hips. You can have one in your hand, and then you can have one in your head. All right, this is Revelation thirteen and fourteen. It says, "And deceive them that dwell on the earth by means of those what miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. And how did he have power to perform these miracles through that technology?" Right, the Lord, uh, uh, in the book of Daniel 12 and 4, it talks about how knowledge shall be increased. Right, in the, in the end, a part of that knowledge is the knowledge of technology, okay. And the Lord had this devil be the spearhead of it, so so they can fulfill prophecy, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And all this is included in that. Okay, this is all included in that. This is what they want you to be. But you need to ask yourself, what are you sacrificing in order to get to this point? Okay, it is pretty much digital slavery. And lastly, this is the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4. And this, this is why these precepts are in here. Because they, they're they not just here just to be read and, and glanced over. They're, they're, you know, they speak to the times that we live in as well. Okay, and they describe and explain and give more context as to why we see the things that we that are going on in the world today. Why are they like that? Right. So Second Thessalonians two and four says, "Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God?" And who is that? That's Esau collectively. All right, but the focus is is you know their elites, those that that are at the top, because they're the ones pushing these agendas down. Ultimately, the Most High is behind it, but. In 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 the in the carnal realm, they're the ones pushing this narrative down, right? And this is this is stemming from a god complex. Go go. You want to find out? Go listen to this demon. You you uh, Yuval Noah Harari. You'll hear it. All right. Same guy who said we could piss the Most High off as much as we want. We don't care. It says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And that's pretty much the direction he wants to go in. Hey, become my creation. Let me be your God. All right? Let me upgrade you. Let me modify you. Let me change you. Let me recreate you in my image. That's what this devil is going for. But rest assured, because you're not going to get far.
That's what Job the 20th chapter goes into. You're not going to get far. The Most High ain't going to sit here because that's why it says if the most, if the Lord didn't shorten the, the days, all right, there shall no flesh be saved, not only in Jacob's trouble, but just in general. Because if this is the direction that they're trying to head in, how many deaths do you think is required for, for them to have a world like this where everybody's just obedient and subject to them? They'd have to do away with those that fear the Lord. They'd have to do away with religion. They'd have to do away with anything that opposes them. That'd be an interesting world. In any case, I'm going to end it here. Lord willing, that was edifying to the elect. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachah Kudash. Until next time, Shalom.